What's happening, road dogs and highway hounds? Come on, come in. What a dork. Um. All right, I'm at uh, rootstock rsk.co, and I looked at uh, rootstock.io, and it just takes you to rsk.co. So. Might as well just go to rsk.co because you know how Americans just, uh, we like to shorten everything as short as it can possibly be. So rsk.co. Leading Bitcoin companies express their interest to participate in the RSK Federation. Several of the most influential Bitcoin companies worldwide have expressed their support to promote smart contracts over the Bitcoin network by participating in the RSK Federation, August 3rd, 2016, Buenos Aires. The RSK network is the first Turing complete platform to run smart contracts secured by the Bitcoin network. In addition to the security provided by the Bitcoin network, the RSK team has developed an innovative hybrid security model. This model incorporates a private federation integrated by leading the bitcoin into by leading it bitcoin industry companies i gotta read that again because that this is my problem when i'm read sometimes i just read the words and i don't get it in my head that's why i like listening to it and that's why i'm uploading it to youtube so if you're like me and you just rather listen to it you know you can replay it and i'll probably replay it myself a couple times in addition to the security provided by the Bitcoin network, the RSK team has developed an innovative hybrid security model. This model incorporates a private federation integrated by the leading Bitcoin industry companies. It's a weird way to put it. I think that's why it threw me. People don't talk that way. The innovative the initiative has received strong support from the most relevant players from across the world. The list of companies include Bitcoin to You, Bitex, Bitflyer, BitGo, BitOasis, BitPay, heard that name before, that's the first one I've heard of, Bitso, Bits of Gold, Bitstamp, heard of them, Blockchain, heard of them, Blockchain Intelligence Group, I don't want to look them up. Block Trail. Bitfinex. Know about those guys, huh? Don't we? Right? Yeah. BTC China. Litecoin. Charlie Lee's brother. Bobby Lee. Bitcoin. BTC China. Bitcon. Jax. Sir. S U R B T C. Sir B T C. Coin BR. Huobi, OKCoin, PayCase, Tether, UnoCoin, and Zappo. What? No Coinbase? And keeps growing every week. <laughs> when says Casares? When says Casares? I just. I laugh because I think of Senor Wences. Uh, Wences Casari, CEO of Zappos, said, We are very excited about what RSK is doing by bringing Ethereum-like capabilities to the Bitcoin network. This will take the Bitcoin ecosystem to the next level and unveil the endless possibilities of the blockchain technology. I wonder what the difference between Ethereum and uh, um, what Rootstock can do. Because why would Rootstock need to work with Ethereum if Ethereum's Turing complete? Can Ethereum do things that Rootstock can't? And y'all know I'm not a big fan of Roots of Ethereum, but the the reason why I'm not a fan of Ethereum is because of the monetary aspect i bought it because i did believe that the touring complete idea is uh cool and all this kind of stuff but i just couldn't get away get over the way that ethereum was released 
and now it, the way that the uh, central planning of it, mm, they're just too much control, and they're willing to fork the blockchain if they screw up, and it's just, it's just, it's just getting more icky as it goes along. So I think it's times limited. But but I do appreciate Vitalik and his skills. You know, the kid's smart. I just wish he would have done something like rootstock instead of trying to go compete with Bitcoin. You know. Get, get a side chain. Build a side chain like RSK. Okay. The RSK Federation will provide additional services that are indispensable to use smart contracts in practice scenarios. Those services will include the generation of external security checkpoints and active oracling services to gather information from external sources. Whatever that means. Uh, side note on, uh, what is it? May, I think it's May 1st, 2016, Rootstock com released a test net. So they are actually testing these smart contracts on the Bitcoin, Bitcoin uh, blockchain. So hopefully they will merge it over to Litecoin as soon as possible. And, uh, but it's not really a big rush, I don't think. I don't, th you know, it's, you know, but, you know, whatever. I don't know how, how much work it would be involved in changing it over to Litecoin, but rumor has it from people close to the Bitcoin, what do you call it, central nervous system, have said they're in talks with Rootstock about getting it added to uh, Litecoin. This hybrid security model will be the key will be key to promote institutional use cases. We have more than 20 international banks, insurance companies, governments, and development agencies that are planning to launch their services over RSK, stated Diego Gutierrez Salvador Zaldivar, yeah, Zaldivar, RSK Lab CEO. So that's cool. 20 international banks. I don't care about the banks so much, but, you know, as long as they're using Bitcoin and Litecoin, that's a good thing for the little guys, as long as we're holding Bitcoin and Litecoin. I just don't want to fact of the matter is the little guy usually doesn't pay attention to their money and finances so federation members will also provide other services to rsk users such as instant peg liquidity and multi-sig services the recent episode with the dow has exposed how important it is to adopt the most rigorous security measures within the smart contract industry in order to promote real use cases these measures, along with the power of the Bitcoin network, will enable RSK to transform our society through the development of direct democracies, digital identity, financial inclusion, and the Internet of Things. Digital identity. I don't like some of the things. What? None? I don't like the idea of digital identity and all this kind of stuff. I'm not too thrilled about the whole Bitcoin thing. Some of the stuff just turns me off, but that's the way the world's going. So best thing to do is fight fire with fire. And that's why I'm in here is to, uh, I mean, digital identity, I don't know. It could be good. It could be bad. I don't like digital money, you know. I'm in here because I, I see computers taking over everything. You know, my truck's got a computer on it. You know, if if the, and if that computer goes haywire, they shut my truck down. You know, I think I've told the story once about driving in Chicago, and some sensor sensed a vehicle that was really close because I was on a very tight road where you don't have a lot of room for playing, and it sensed a vehicle very close to me, which is what happens when you're in tight spots, and it locked up the brakes automatically on me, and and it was at like twenty. 
29 degrees, which is the freezing point, and you know my my trailer started jackknifing because of the blessed computers that we all love so much. So I'm not a big fan of it, but it's coming, and Bitcoin's it, and uh, Litecoin is the silver. So gold and silver, you know, it's gonna it's gonna hold up for for money. So I'm in, not willingly, but I'm in. So these measures, along with the power of the Bitcoin network, will enable RSK to transform our society through the development of direct democracies, voting, voting in, in elections. That, that'll be a good thing, I think, because I think these elections are so rigged. Look at what happened to Ron Paul and Bernie Sanders. Additionally, Sergio Lerner, RSK chief scientist, is working on several universities working with several universities and security experts across the industry to develop smart contract security standards and best practices. That's cool. Like, don't fork the blockchain if your smart contract screws up. That would be a good one to start with. RSK launched its initial testnet, Lotus, on May 2016. Something which is currently being tested by a number of selected partners. During Q3, RSK, oh, the third quarter. I was like, what the heck is Q3? RSK will def continue to add new use cases to its platform and additional hashing power to its merge mining network. The company expects to release its new version of the test net, Tumeric, by the end of September 2016 and launch its production network, Ginger, during the first quarter of 2017. So it's coming January, February of 2017. That will be when Rootstock takes hold. Message to you guys at Rootstock. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. And... Uh, Please, my vote says add it to uh, add it to uh, the Litecoin network. You know, now that the wings are falling off of the Ethereum plane, don't forget about Litecoin. Litecoin is a tried and tested and well known and well recognized as a good solid blockchain type thing and it's the gold and silver of the cryptocurrency world and it makes it makes bitcoin stronger just like rootstock does and that's what litecoin does and please i just i just ask you to to uh modify rootstock to uh, apply to uh litecoin like share and subscribe folks